Pat the Enemy started eluding the politics. And, uh, What, huh? At the end, we started looting politics a little bit, which is always a little bit touchy. Mm -hmm. But I don't. It didn't sound like we had much to worry about. At, at the end, once he kind of knew more or less which way I stood, he was like, Yeah, I know, I sometimes tell my friends. You know that conservative guy that you know that you think is very conservative? He goes, I'm to the right now. Is that super conservative? Apparently. seem like big profits, but stuff like that is also difficult to run. Oh, yeah. You know. Well, we were kind of talking about that, and that I, you know, he, he has employees, we don't. Yeah. But, you know, that's the part that people don't see is that, you know, the number of, take a, even an average restaurant, and the number of employees they have, And he said he asked um, one of the bar owners that he kind of hangs out with people from the outside of the mm -hmm. he, He's like, well, how do you, how do you trust these people? You know, but after a certain point, you can't do it all for everything. Yeah. So you got to trust people to do the right thing and whatever else. He said, well, how do you trust these people to not skim off the top? And the guy said, Pretty much figure in that we're going to lose 10% to employee theft. Really? Well, I guess if, if you kind of figure it in yeah. from the get go, you know, it's just a factory and kind of the price of doing business. But you know, it was, if anybody was taking 10% off the top for anything they were doing for me, they'd be gone in, in a heartbeat. But they also have more employees, so it's a little bit here, a little bit there. Well, and it's like, <coughs> you know, he's like, well, what do you do when you're, you're trusting somebody when they call in, they're going to order 78 cases, of, 78 cases of this and 30 cases of that and 1,200 kegs of beer in a month. You know, he's like, how do you trust that they're doing the right things in the right amount? Well, and that's kind of where it came from. He said, you know, can't do things a lot more than other people. Yeah. They figure that, well, whoever owns it's rich, they're never going to notice. Yeah. All, all adds up. Mm -hmm. I mean, I swear that used to be like a mandatory course in college or something. Well, but the thing is, most of the people that do it, you know, they feel slighted in some way. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, uh, you know I, I had to work extra here or something, and, and they didn't do this, or, you know, I pull more than my own weight because so-and-so doesn't do their job right. Yeah. And so they feel a yeah. to them. And so there's no guilt involved by the people that do it. Because yeah, I'm not going to have that thing by myself. 
Tribute. It should be in your mouth either. <gasps> Tribute. Go somewhere else and do it. Mommy doesn't want you to do it by her. <coughs> you know, some of these people do it and they figure, you know, it's kind of their way of getting what you do them that hasn't been done on the books. Perhaps the most hilarious thing about my conversation with the school psychologist was, oh boy, I'm going to get this name wrong, Trevon. And I'm like, there's no N in his name at all. I'm like, Trigby. Trevon. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. No, he's Trigby. Good old, yeah, go give it away, please. Good old Norwegian boy. Well, it's like the teacher that called me Gib. There's no I in my name. There is a teacher that called you Gib? Yeah. Gib? Do you have an accent? Gib? No. Gib? And when did you go with yes? Gib? No, this was in high school. No, in middle school, I forget exactly. Ah, you almost got me to play. But I have only questions for all the people that mispronounced my name so terribly over the years. Is what on earth did it do today? You know, because in our generation, most people spell their names. <laughs> Pretty, you know, normally. I had to laugh at the Canadian that called the order today because he spelled the order's first name because he was a Kim. Mm -hmm. And then he told me his last name he didn't spell. What was his last name? Bill. Bill. I don't know. I don't even remember. So apparently Kim is hard to spell. I know, but the but I suppose he gets Tim a lot. Oh, but yeah. I was like, well, maybe this is too funny. Yeah, I can see that. There's there are a lot of guys. There are a lot of lesser guys. Yeah.